Well, greetings YouTube model people. How's it going? Okay, coming at you here with an update on my 2022 cartoon and deformed group build for 2022. Hosted by Papa Dan over at Hobby Time with Papa Dan and Tommy over at Colonel Reb. And as you can see, we have the calendar here. And the 28th is today, Wednesday. Um, and we only have a couple days before the finale of this year's Cartoon Deformed Group Build. Now, will I be done by Friday the 30th? Eh, that's hard to say. We are pretty close. We may be done actually on Saturday the 1st of October, which isn't too bad. And I started keeping track of all the group builds on calendar, so we got all the other ones that I have um, dedicated to doing kind of listed out here. But anyway, that's enough of that stuff. We're going to show you where we're at with the Stroke of McGurk. Because that's the kit I am working on, the basically hot rod surfer, surf rod kit. Uh, sorry for all the movement. Here he is. So we're doing our own take on this whole thing um, and having some fun with it. It's, uh, again, something like I never do, be, you know, I never really did a kit like this before. We have our big, huge engine. I mean huge. This thing is gigantic, so nothing too fancy here. Just a, a very basic uh, engine, goes together fairly well. Um, we have a couple more parts to go on here. We have the big blower goes right up on top. I just decided to go with black, gloss black, just to jazz it up a little bit, uh, being it's a, a surf rod. This is for the front. Um, this has got to go and hook up like this, and then there's a couple of connectors that go into the engine, obviously for that. So that's what we have going on there. Stroke McGurk himself. He looks a little dark. Uh, maybe just a tad too dark. I use this paint here, tanned uh, skin. And because uh, I figure Stroke of McGurk's got a lot of sun time. Um, and so he would be pretty dark uh, with a good tan. So uh, that's basic color, base color. I'm going to touch up a little bit more. And then I'm going to obviously add some highlights in there. We also painted the base color for his eyes, which is a parchment white. It's an off-white. Um, and then we'll get the, you know more detailed with the eye, eye balls and eyelids with better paint on there. We didn't do the hair yet. Um, I'm debating on a color. Sorry, guys. Looks like it's kind of blurry. Um, but debating on the color for his hair, it's either going to be a dark brown or a blonde with, you know, whatever dirty blonde kind of look. And his sort of shirt color i went with something that's very interesting it's actually very close to the uh a color used for my 1957 chevy uh just a really nice kind of aqua marine kind of color and then more of that ivory uh for the front here for his shirt and i still have to paint the details of his uh, front of his shirt which almost looks like a necklace but i think those are just ties for the shirt to keep it closed i'm not sure but i think that's what that is uh like beach wear typically is we have his life preserver all uh, painted up here, so that's ready to go. And then his arms are assembled and painted. Uh, we definitely have to add another um, coat uh, to that. And here's the surfboard itself. We went with this color blue because I think it's going to go nice against these flame decals. I am going to use the flame decal. Um, so I don't know exactly where these go, but we will, as soon as we get, well, actually this is the front of the surfboard. So once we get everything on there, we will figure out where we're going to put the decals. But we are going to use the flames against that blue. And that's about it, folks. Sorry for all the shaking around. Uh, been having a fun with it. And again, hopefully we can wrap this one up. If not Friday night late, it'll be first thing or, well, not first thing, but sometime on Saturday. Hopefully we can get it done. Okay, cheers.